people come in to a facility who don't really need to be here. To that self be true. I used to work at Sir 60th and Catherine, OAS, Office of Addiction Services. Yeah. We had a Caucasian guy that came in there. He was smoking cigarettes in his room. He was a skin, he was a hide, and none of that. He was mentally ill. He was in there for two days. They put him out, referred him. I used to work at Wayne Ministries. Down there by Stop and Surrender. He was Wayne Ministries. There was a Puerto Rican guy that came in there. He used to smoke <clears throat> wet. He used to smoke wet and come in there and shadow box with frosting the flakes. He used to talk to the pancakes. He would, he would always be do just the opposite. And my hands was tied and we couldn't what Nobody could go write him up, but they would not get rid of him. And it was a disapproval of one bad apple in the bunch of us. He getting high, some people want to get high, you making me want to get high. Because you're not getting rid of the person who's getting high. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. money ain't good money. Okay. All money ain't good money. Mm. And when you try to take all money, it's going to be a disapproval effort in the camp. It's going to be problems, okay? Because mm. you affect other people that's trying to what? Recover. So if you're nodding and you're not on dope, you need to stand up. Everybody understand that? Because you might affect somebody. might remind me of what's going on. You can't sit still. Your eyes as big as this room. Something going on. You sweating like crazy. You ain't exercising. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. S sad <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> How about anybody feel sad? Anybody feel sad? Anybody feel sad? <clears throat> like what? What, what, what? Like what, Keith? Can you forgive you? Yes. Very good. Real important. Yes. Real important to forgive us. My Lord forgives me, so I, I have to. Who am I? Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. When I see all the murders that's going on, right, that brings a, what, a, a, a sadness towards my spirit. Yeah, we are almost at 500 murders already. And how many of them is under the age of 18? Yes. A lot of youths are getting killed right. also. Probably half that five. Yes, and that's sad. And then, and, come on. A hundred me, hundred me, hundred of them motherfuckers is people around your age just got in, in the crossfire. Mm -hmm. Think about, I think about that shit. Yeah, hey, like damn. Mm -hmm. Half is young boys, mm -hmm. and then hundred percent, hundred of them is probably old heads that got caught in the straight fire and bunch of them bull wasn't meant for them. And the bull ain't got no name, but you mean like mm -hmm. that shit work. And, and see, I, one, one thing, one of my problem concern is that you can't make, you can't put physical solutions on a spiritual problem. All this murder and this killing, that's spiritual. <clears throat> if you get a killer and you got to, yo, the killer mind has to change. The killer heart has to change. He has to look at another brother not as his enemy, but as a what? A, a, a potential brother who have issues. So what? Conflict resolutions. Sometimes when you, some dudes are real peaceful when they by themselves. When they get around their homeboys, then they Tupac from Juice. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying, right? I forget what I was watching. <laughs> Be the same individual, with them or without them. I on Netflix, I forget what I was watching. This boy killed, somebody killed his, his girl's son. Uh-huh. And he doing, and he, and he doing, and he doing life or whatever. No, it was, uh, I'm a killer, some shit on Netflix. Like, I'm into all that dumb and shit. So I was watching it. Like, throughout the beginning of the case, the, the girl had hatred to him. Mm -hmm. But then the only person that came to see him out of his family was the boy's mom, <laughs> whose son she killed. And they wound up catching a connection. Mm -hmm. She put money on his books after that. She caught a connection and really found out what really happened to her son. Mm -hmm. He was high on wet, whatever the case may be. Like your man said, fret, shadow box the fucking frosted flakes. Mm -hmm. He was high. He wasn't mentally right smoking wet. Mm -hmm. Me, schizophrenic, whatever he did, and he did what he did. Mm -hmm. And now his best friend is the is, 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 uh, young boy, mom. Mm -hmm. Only person in writing, only person to come see him. Mm -hmm. He's doing life. He's doing life. Wow. Winded up catching the connection with him because of the sadness of it, but then she got down to what really had happened. Mm -hmm. you know that's like the girl in, 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 over in Jersey smoking smoking K2 and chopped the baby head off. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smoke yeah. K2 chopped the meat and fucking hand over yeah. that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, for real, man. For real. Sadness. How about guilt? Anybody feel guilty? Guilt puts on handcuffs. Shame had keys to a self made prison. Guilt is what I did. Shame is how I feel. Anybody feel guilty? He talked about his actions that caused him to get here, but he forgave himself. His power, how power forgave him. So he said, Who am I not to forgive him for what he did? Anybody feeling guilty? Anybody feeling guilty? When I relapse, I promised myself my higher power that I wouldn't do it again. Okay. So that's when I get like, that's when I had a lot of guilt. Okay. You forgive you? Yeah, I forgive myself. Very good. Thank you, Santa Angel. Come on, Sebastian. Well, I was just saying, as far as guilty, as far as yeah, the, um, with certain situations in my life, yeah, I sure do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into great detail about it, but yes, I do have guilt with certain aspects of my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I know that I cause certain situations, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and, I'm, and I got to. I got to take that, you know what I mean? I got to take that, you know what I mean? I got to buy that for a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, if I wouldn't have done what I'd done, shit wouldn't have happened the way it happened. And then when shit gets out of hand, then I'm like, man, that's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I should have never done that shit, mm -hmm. you know? That's how, you know what I mean? But that's how life is sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I don't even, I don't even always, I don't always even look at, I mean, you talking about this situation when I was clean, you know what I'm saying, that I did shit that I'm guilty of, you know what I mean, that I have guilt behind. So it, it, it's not even always based on an act of addiction, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes life, you make decisions, shit, done, the domino effect happens, and then when shit gets, you know, fucked up, you like, ah, I shouldn't have did that shit. You know? So it, yes, I have guilt about certain situations that have happened in my life. Mm -hmm. you forgive you? Nope. Okay. Nope. To be honest with you, no. Okay. You know what I'm Not yet. Okay. You know I don't even think I've even asked for forgiveness. You know what I'm so, something I gotta work on, something I gotta think about. You know what I'm But I make no mistake about it yet. Yeah, I got some guilt, you know what I'm saying, about some shit. You know? You know? I deal with it. Okay. All right. Thank you for saying that. You say D? Uh, now the way I look at the guilt that I had uh -huh. is healthy. Uh huh. Because it's okay to have guilt, but it's not okay to drown in your guilt. Okay. Because it's okay to be to to to, to feel about your guilt because it lets you know that you're a person. It's submissive to what you do. Mm. But it's not healthy when you drown in your guilt. I feel guilt about some things today, but I don't stay there. Mm. But it's healthy for me to remember the guilt so that I never have to feel guilty again. So guilt can be a healthy thing. It depends on how we use our guilt. Okay. Now, if you're guilty and you stay in it and you lie in it, that's not healthy at all. Mm -hmm. But if you can go back and say, wow, I did that and I was guilty about it and let it go, don't stay there. Mm -hmm. But just be mindful that not to do that again. And you do feel guilty because you did it. But just remember not to do that again. So that's a healthy type of guilt. Mm -hmm. So guilt is not always it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Right. It, 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 it's how we, uh, how we react to our guilt. It's what makes it good and bad. Okay. Very good. Thank you for saying that. How about her? It's in Baltimore City, we got a program called I Can't We Can. And on Fridays, my parents was coming to visit me on Friday. But this Friday, I left and went and got high. Y'all remember KC and JoJo? Yeah. yeah. I, got, I used to get, I used to smoke, get high with um, they aunt. Paulette, rest in peace, she passed away, right? So I was getting high with her. And when my parents showed up, I wasn't there. And my man Charlie, he said, man, if I if you if you was, he said, man, to see, to see your mother, how she looked, he said, I wanted to beat your ass. 
because that was my buddy right there. Charlie was my, my you know, you know, he used to stay on the bottom bunk. He the one used to shoot dope and he misfire. And he had abscess. Anybody know about abscess? Yeah. yeah. And, it, and it came and it, and it stuck up between, through, through, it came through his, his jeans and it smelled real bad. But that was my man right there. Mm -hmm. And he was just talking about the, the look on your mother's face, how you hurt them from getting high again. Listen, he said, I would have whipped your ass. And I really hurt my parents, man, to a great deal of what? Because they didn't give birth to no junkie. And I keep telling my mother, listen, you didn't go, you didn't do, you didn't do nothing wrong. You, you did, you laid it down for me. I choose to deviate and go my own way. And when I did that, I felt guilty, right, over what the decisions that I made. You find know what I'm saying? So the hurt piece, the hurt piece. We said, who got tunnel vision? I don't even hurt nobody but who? Myself, but that's a lie. That's a lie. We hurt everybody who love us, who know us, who care about us. Our selfish act, yes, cause us, to, yo, to hurt people, right? It affects everybody. Yeah, what you say? It, it affects everybody. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. As far as just to back up on the guilty aspect, only time I feel guilty about certain shit is when that situation is right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Like when I don't, when I'm not around that person, or I don't have to talk to that person, you know what I'm saying? Then it, the guilt part, as far as what like Cricket was saying, I don't necessarily dwell in it, but when I go around them people, or I see that person, or somebody call me and tell me about that person, then I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? Like, had I not done that shit, they probably wouldn't be in that situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the only time I get it. But, but uh, yeah, yeah that's, that's all I got. Yeah, that's like good. with the guilt right there, especially like before this run, like, Doing good, you mean? I was in my housing program. I was doing, I was doing straight. Tried to smoke K2 again and went back to smoking coke and all that shit. I took it back to me. Mm -hmm. But that hurt and guilt that I felt when I seen my mom cry in front of me, mm -hmm. dingy as shit, dirty as fuck. I went to go see my mom to go pick up my stimulus, my last stimulus check. She ain't gonna give it to me. The last little bit that I had, I said, Mom, give it to me. I need it. She went, No. I'm like, come on, give me to me after this. I, 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 I really just put my foot in. She was saying that last time she stopped crying. That shit fucked me up. I started crying. Mm hmm Yeah. Y'all hear that? Like, I started, like, I really started crying. Like, my mom had to hug me. Like, I wanted to just leave and say, fuck it. Like, I'm about to just, she was, she seen it in my face. She's like, no, sit down. I'm going to give you the money. Because she know if I would have left, I probably would have caught wreck. Mm -hmm. And the call on calling off the jail phone line because she know how I get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She gave me the money, but she was like, for real, this time, like, mm -hmm. I know you could do it, just, you know, fuck everything else around it. I know you could do it for you, just do it for me, fuck everything else, I don't care for no one. Just call me every day, the same time you know me doing, we go in 8.30, cup talk to the kids, mm -hmm. before they go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And now I'm back to where I'm, where I'm at, me, but like, I always think back to that shit, like, or to be at home with stinking, I shout, and I always think about that before I pick up that pipe and get out of Mm -hmm. to go back to mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not trying to go back, but I'm trying to go forward. That's right. And my brother broke down and cried too. He brought, my brother got emotional with me one day, and I was getting high and all that madness. And if I was to decide to go get high right now, man, listen, I would devastate so many people in my life. Mm -hmm. My mother, my father, my brother, my two nieces, his lady, my lady, her four children, the six dogs, Pico won't get no money, the landlord definitely won't get no money. And all because of one, one high that only lasts for what? Seven seconds. Thanks. Lose so much for so little. Yeah. Lose so much for so little. It's not yeah. worth it. Yeah. It goes back to what? Sob sob sobriety. The sober high is the best high. How about admiration? Admiration. We don't hate, we congratulate. Anybody there today? Admiration. Giving the brother a level props. Sincerely giving the brother his props. Admiration. We can do that today? All right, very good. Admiration, all right? How about trust? Are we trustworthy yet? Are we building trust? Do we trust others? Anybody don't trust? Who got trust issues? Yeah. You got trust issues, brother? Some, some, some point. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, like, uh, my daughter, I trust your dad, boy, you know. Sometimes it's, uh, as tough as you day, you know, it gives you a bad name. That's why I thought it, that's why I don't come hang around with you. Somebody else do something. You say, oh, that did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and that, you know, but, uh, I 
get pain, you know what I mean, change. But I already know I ain't there. You know, at the point that I did it, I, I asked the brother for whatever I did. And, and that part hurt me like a lot, you know what I mean. So they don't do it no more. It was a time that they went to pay to get out of the back, you know what I mean? Because, you know, that's the, the way I walk. They all jump in and say they always kill someone. The best people attack me. That's why I used to be out around, you know what I mean? I used to hate that part, you know what I mean? That point is big. How much time you have clean? Give it to him, yo. God bless. You got your hand up, brother, right here. Trust. Yes, sir. Kind of hard trusting people. Okay, all right. Have you trust somebody since you've been here? <laughs> it's a process, probably mm. a process. Do you trust you? Mm. You trust you? You do? It's different levels of trust. Right, it's different you know levels. It's different levels, it's different things that you trust yeah. people with. You right. Know? I may trust I may trust one person with one thing, but not that same person with something else. Hey, right here that you know boundaries. Saying? Very yeah, good. You know what I'm saying? Like I may trust that Chris was gonna go to the store, not to use years again, but like Chris could shit. You know, like, all right, take this money. Go get us some cigarettes. I may trust him with that. Right. But I might not trust him to go over there with my fucking food stand card. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. I don't want to give him my fucking bill. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's why I say, like you said, boundaries and it's different levels of trust. I trust and my, man, my, my food stand card. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on, you know what I mean, who it is, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know, yeah. right. it's, it's the nature of your relationship, because you don't, for me, I'm like, you don't, you know what I mean, Every, your relationship with everybody is based on, I base my relationship and the trust that I have with everybody based on my relationship with them, not what you tell me about them, mm -hmm. right. so I, I come to my own opinion, my own assessment, of what I feel as though I'm comfortable with this person saying, doing, letting them know, whatever the case may be, trusting them with whatever it is I may trust them with. Mm -hmm. Some people, we can talk about something all goddamn day, but then when you ask me a certain something about me that I don't trust that you'll be able to keep your mouth shut, you know what I mean, then I'm not telling you shit. Right. You know what I mean? No, don't worry about that. You know what I mean? That's none of your business. Mm -hmm. you know? So that's why I say it depends on what it is when it comes to trust. Right. Some people you can trust your information. Some people you can trust them with your money. Mm -hmm. Some people you can trust them around your family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's different things and different levels of trust. Very good. Good food, Sebastian. Good food. My man, how much time you got, brother? Right here. How much time you got clean? I don't smell nothing. I don't smell nothing. Oh, let's give it to him anyway. God bless. God bless. Give it to him. How about acceptance? Well, we got about five minutes, y'all. Acceptance. Who accept the fact that that lifestyle is over? Anybody accept that? Yeah. It's over? Yeah. Very good. How about submission? Well, who do we submit to? God. 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 Very good. Very good. Is it hard to submit? Yes. Who saw Malcolm X? Yeah. He said, pick the lock, Mal Malcolm. It was hard for him to submit. Right? <laughs> anger. Who get angry in here? We all do. Yeah. All right. Can anger get his high again? Yeah. Who's passive aggressive? Passive, passive aggressive. They plot and scheme. They sneaky individuals. Anybody like that in here? No. Passive aggressive. I haven't met that person yet. Okay. All right. Okay. You always play. If you know you can get schemed to get high, so you know it's still gonna be in your mind. You right. Scheme, scheme of thinking, mm -hmm. but it's not as much because you don't get high. Right. I'm pretty sure everybody had that at that one point. Right. Because we all act. Right. You know I mean? So we know we get that our sneaky way to go do something, a sneaky way to go, you know, go get that fix. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. So some way, somehow, the drug always get his way when you're in that situation of getting high. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I reply to that. Very good. Very good. How about suppress anger? Who stuff it then explode later? Anybody suppress the anger? 
Don't say nothing on Monday. I, don't say nothing on Tuesday. Then explode on Wednesday. I used to be yeah. like that. Used to be like that. Yeah. 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 My wife. My wife stopped that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you see the anger coming. Talk about it. All right. So it's yes. Yes. Real important, y'all. Stuff and anger. Who saw the movie? I spit on your grave. Good movie, y'all. If y'all didn't see that, check that out. One, two, and three. One was the best. They got her. They came as a friend, but wound up raping her. But the way they got her, she got uh, them. Oh, yeah, he got them big time. Yes, I spit on your grave. Yeah. Hey, how about, how about depressed? Anybody depressed? What caused your depression? Anybody get depressed? Anybody? Uh, my depression is, uh, well, I suffer from depression, so, you know what I mean? But my depression is like when a lot of things I feel as though it's going downhill, but it's just my, my impatience of things, because I'm impatient. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that just that just stack up more depression. But I'm like, when I first don't do the right thing and things not going my way, my depression started kicking in. Mm -hmm. And and I can get to the point real bad, you know what I mean? Where it can actually get me music. You know what I'm saying? Like then that like I said, it was that sneaking and conniving, that stinking thinking, mm -hmm. you know. But my depression did lead me to my addiction. You take meds? they're very good. You take meds for that your depression? Yeah. Okay, they help? Yeah. Okay. Who been, my, um, who been my, um, the Temptations? Paul Williams. Mm -hmm. Paul Williams couldn't sing no more. Paul Williams had a business venture, and it went south. It went bad. He couldn't sing. He was in debt. He was drinking in a car, in an alley. Gunshot to the brain. Depression. Because what lives on this depression is suicide or what? Thoughts. The guy who wrote, I Wish It Would Rain, and David Ruffin sung the hell out of that song. Roger Pissabine, I believe, pronouncing his name wrong, you know. But anyway, he came in the house and his woman was in bed with another man, which gave birth to the lyrics of I Wish It Would Rain. How about Kurt Cobain? Yeah. Yes, depression is real. Depression is Phyllis Hyman. Phyllis Hyman, as you may say. Yes. Come on. I want to go back to addiction versus addiction versus recovery. Yes, sir. In my addiction, I thought I was getting away with something. Uh huh. That was my thought process. Yeah. In my sobriety, I feel like this. I might think I'm getting away with something, but somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now you see the difference between recovery thinking and addiction thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my recovery, I, I know that I can't get away with nothing because somebody do know, you do. Mm -hmm. So if you're working on yourself, you have to be mindful of, of, of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. The sneakiness don't work mm -hmm. because now you have what you call it. Now you have a conscience mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. And the conscience is, you know you did that. And it'll beat me up every time now mm -hmm. because my mindset is different. So when I'm sneaking do something, I, I don't feel right. Mm -hmm. we, I feel, I feel, now you talk about guilt, yeah, guilt, guilt. ain't my thing. Mm -hmm. Because I know that I know that I did it. And in the addiction, I didn't care, but I know I did it. I just want to put that That's out. That's good. We have a conscience now. Yeah. Very good. How about rejected? Anybody feel bad about being rejected? Rejection. Can that be a good thing, though? Yeah. All right. Yeah. How about the woman that didn't want us, but we wanted her badly, but she didn't want us? Come to find out she don't cook, won't cook, can't cook. How? <laughs> can't. <laughs> Sometimes rejection is a what? A good thing, all right? Anybody afraid of anything? Anybody afraid of anything? Death. Afraid of death? Yeah. All right, we born to die. We born, we born to die, but, I ain't gonna lie. I'm but not to be consumed by death. Yep. All right, not to be thinking about death all day long, because we all want to go. Who's afraid of change? Who's afraid to change? Who don't want to change? You want to stay the same individual who brought you into what? Oh, that. Everybody hear that? If you be like that, I won't be here. That'd be good. We got to change. Who are afraid of success? So you self sabotage. Who had clean time and lost it? I did. I did. Who had a mind and lost a mind? I did. I did. Yeah. Who had, a, had property, had a home, and lost your home? I no, did. No, I didn't lose I did. it because every time I go there, it's still there. I gave it away. <laughs> I'll fucking lose it, motherfucker. I'm still sitting there. I ain't lose a goddamn thing. I'm still there. Okay. I, mean, I How gave about... it away when I didn't pay the bills. Okay. All right. Okay. Fear. How about this right here? 
I say surprise, amazement. Anybody, how about distractions? Anybody distracted by anything? That's big. Distractions. Anybody? Anybody distracted by anything? Distractions. Nobody got no distractions? How about grief? Am I got any grief? Like what? Am I got grief? Alright. Responsive. Anybody responsible today? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Try to be. Alright. Anxious. Anybody anxious? All the time. Can't sit still. Mind racing. Yep. And next week, next month, next year. Tomorrow. And miss what? Today. How about five minutes from now? How about bored? Anybody bored? Boredom and idle time are dangerous. I'm bored with me and I'm idle with you. I'm bored with me and I'm idle with you. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Find something to what? To kill your boredom. Anybody tired? Who got sleep but you're still tired? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. No rest. Yeah, no rest. Apathetic. Who don't care? Who heart black? Like my man Jacket right there. Anybody got a cold black heart? Apathetic. Don't care about nobody? Isolation. Who isolate? When we downstairs, you upstairs. When we upstairs, you downstairs. When we in here, you out there. When we out there, you back in here. Anybody isolate? Isolation, all right? Who's the last person to tell you tell me to get high? Me. Me. So why I'm listening to me. How about inferior? Anybody feel inferior? Anybody feel inferior? I used to go to NA meetings. It used to be dinosaurs in the building. 20 years. Damn, I'm leaving. 19. Why I'm here? Eight. Yo, listen. I used to feel always feel inferior of their time. I used to feel inferior. All right, not no more, though. Not no more. All right, only had 30 days clean, and these cats got years, and I felt inferior. Anybody thankful today? Anybody grateful or thankful? Very good. Who glad they woke up this morning? For the small things. Last thing is overwhelmed. Angel talked about it. Being overwhelmed can cause what? Depression. Anybody over overwhelmed about anything? Anybody got you overwhelmed? Anybody? Jobs, health, relationships, kids. Housing, education can be what? Overwhelming. Who know how to prioritize your priorities? That's very important. I'm prioritize learning. our priorities. What'd you say, D? I'm learning. You learning that? It's something that you never graduate from. Uh-huh. <laughs> About enough. While we still breathing. Look, it's always a pleasure coming here. All right? Feelings and emotions. Anybody need job information? Give me a call. I got y'all. Who opens up, y'all? God. Brand and serenity. serenity. To accept the things we cannot change. The courage to change the things we can. And the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done on the way. Amen. Call me, call me up. Yeah, 267.